The treatment of varicose veins with folk remedies may include ointments, compresses, applications, and mixtures for external use, as well as infusions and decoctions for ingestion. In any case, the main purpose of folk treatment of varicose veins is to improve blood circulation. It should be understood that such treatment will be most effective. In the initial stages of the disease, the appearance of vascular reticulation and a feeling of heaviness in the legs, and least effective in neglected cases, when only surgery can help. Therefore, it is necessary to monitor your health and at the first symptoms consult a doctor. To confirm your suspicions, congestion leading to varicose veins usually first affects the lower extremities. So it is the recipes of folk remedies for varicose veins in the legs that are the most popular among the population. Let's elaborate on the main recipes of folk medicine. Antique recipes for varicose vein ointments. All folk ointments from varicose veins are prepared on the basis of vegetable oil. More often olive oil because of the high content of arachidonic acid. To make the mixture thicker, ancient recipes recommend adding melted animal fat to the ointment. This is what concerns the basis of the ointment and for toning the walls of blood vessels and strengthening them. Folk grandmother's recipes for varicose veins recommend using such medicinal plants as horse chestnut, calanjo, wormwood, white willow bark, bittercress, selenine, cabbage. The process of preparing such mixtures is quite simple. Ointment based on horse chestnut is prepared as follows. Grind six dried chestnuts in a coffee grinder to flour, add to TBSP of ground chestnut flowers. Mix it all with 300 milliliters of oil and heat for about an hour in a water bath. The resulting mixture is infused, filtered, squeezed and remove the sediment, then add the animal fat and mix thoroughly. Tinctures from varicose veins. No less popular are various infusions from varicose veins, which are much easier to prepare, but much longer. The basis of all infusions includes vodka. So if there are areas on the legs with damaged skin, then you should refrain from such methods of treatment. The most effective is considered a tincture of Kalanho. In it is often added white acacia or comfrey in the proportion 1 to 1. Such infusions are prepared as follows. Shred the leaves of the medicinal plant finely, poured into a jar. Pour the vodka and let stand for 10 to 14 days in a dark place. Ready-made infusion will need to be rubbed into the skin of the feet from foot to knee twice a day for 3 months. Apple cider vinegar for varicose veins as a means number 1. Treatment of varicose veins with vinegar is quite popular and effective method of combating the ailment. Apple cider vinegar helps with varicose veins because it includes more than 20 minerals and trace elements necessary for vessels, as well as vitamin C, L, B, which allows with its regular use to achieve increased skin tone, strengthen vascular walls, remove edemas, improve blood circulation. However, all this is achievable only if a natural product made from freshly squeezed juice was used for treatment, not from the peel as the manufacturers of this type of vinegar do. What oils are used to treat varicose veins, along with creams, infusions and vinegar. Various essential oils are also widely used for varicose veins. The most commonly used oils are castor oil, black cumin oil, sandalwood oil, garlic oil, flax oil, and others. Essential oils against varicose veins are usually used in two ways. Add a few drops of two to three different oils to a bath of warm water, which should be taken daily in the evenings. They are added to massage cream or massage oil and gently rubbed from the ankles to the thigh in areas with affected veins. Such use of oil allows not only strengthening the walls of blood vessels, but also relieves swelling in the lower extremities. Epitherapy, propolis, bee propolis, and honey for varicose veins. Treatment of varicose veins with bees has a long history, and it is not surprising if you consider in detail the composition and usefulness of various bee products, whether it is poison, bee bee venom, propolis, or honey. All of these recipes are quite good and effective but not always available to city dwellers. The easiest thing to get is honey. Treatment of varicose veins with honey is as follows. A layer of honey is applied to the canvas and applied to the inflamed veins. Wrapped with plastic wrap on top and secured with a bandage. On the first day of such treatment, the compress is kept on the leg for two hours, on the second day minus three, on the third to four. And then the compress with honey is left on all night. The duration of the course of honey therapy is usually two to three weeks. Do tomatoes help with varicose veins? Not any tomatoes are used for the treatment of varicose veins, but only unripe green ones. Treatment of varicose veins with green tomatoes is quite simple and consists of the following. The tomato is cut in half. One half is placed with the pulp on the inflamed vein and held until you feel a burning sensation. The tomato is taken away and the skin area is washed with cool water. After that, the second half of the tomato is applied to the leg and so repeat for times. With the daily use of green tomato against varicose veins, for three weeks you can notice a pallor and softening of the venous knots. Treatment of varicose veins with nutmeg. Nutmeg in varicose veins is used because of its ability to stimulate blood circulation and relieve inflammation of the veins. 
Prepare a drug from nutmeg as follows. Grate whole nuts. Or grind in a coffee grinder. Pour a glass of boiling water over one-third teaspoon of powder. Cool to room temperature. Add a spoon of honey and insist another 20 minutes. Drink this decoction in the morning before breakfast. It is important that every day a fresh portion of the powder should be prepared. Otherwise, the essential oils will be weathered. And the drink will lose its therapeutic properties. There is another recipe that uses nutmeg. 200 grams of grated nutmeg pour a liter of vodka and insist 10 days. Then take 20 drops 3 times a day for 3 months. Cabbage will help with varicose veins. Since ancient times, doctors have used cabbage leaves for varicose veins to relieve inflammation. And it is not surprising if you look at how many vitamins and trace elements are contained in the leaves of white cabbage. Cabbage leaves in the treatment of varicose veins are used in the form of a compress. A compress is made in the following way. A cabbage leaf is rolled out with a rolling pin or beaten off. Then one side of it is smeared with vegetable oil and applied to the inflamed vein. On top the cabbage leaf is fastened with a bandage and left for a day. The next day, the procedure is repeated, and so do 30 times. Ginger for varicose veins. Ginger for varicose veins can be used as a remedy for internal or external use. So tea made of ginger is a good remedy. Not only for the prevention of inflammation of the veins, but also for treating the disease at any stage of its manifestation. This tea is very simple to prepare. It is enough to cut a small round piece of ginger from the root. Pour boiling water on it and let it stand for 15 minutes. It should be noted that, in addition to normalizing blood circulation, this drink has a beneficial effect on the metabolism. So drinking ginger is especially useful for those who have problems with veins due to excess weight. A compress of ginger is made as follows. Grate the root finely. Mix it with honey and put it on the inflamed vein for 3 to 4 hours. To enhance the effect, it is recommended to wrap the legs in something warm. Useful properties of cranberry for varicose veins, like ginger. Cranberry with varicose veins can be used either as a compress or as a vitaminized drink. In the first case, the patient will need to take fresh berries of cranberry, grind them into a pulp, put the mixture on a cloth, attach to the area of skin with inflamed veins and fasten with a bandage. Such a compress is best made before going to bed and leave it for the night. Vitamin drink from cranberry, in fact, is a juice mixed with honey in the proportion of 2 TBSP, honey per 500 milliliters, juice. It should be drunk to TBSP four times a day for a month and a half. Pumpkin action with varicose veins. Everyone knows that pumpkin is an extremely useful product that contains many vitamins and trace elements. To treat varicose veins, the inner pulp, previously freed from the seeds, is used. This pulp should be completely rubbed on the limb. With problematic veins, wrap with something warm and leave for the night. The remaining pulp can be stored in the refrigerator. Since the effect of pumpkin compresses is very mild, you should be patient when using this method of treatment. Adam's apple for varicose veins. Adam's apple for treating varicose veins is used in the form of ointment, which is prepared as follows. Take a glass jar, which is filled with a layer of lard 15 millimeters thick. Then on top of the lard slices of fruit maclura Adam's apple 10 millimeters thick. Then another layer of lard and so on until the bank is filled. It is important that the last layer be a layer of lard. Once the jar is filled, it is put on a steam bath or in an oven on low heat for 24 hours should not boil, then strain. Cool and rub one to two times during the day on the problem areas. Varicose is very afraid of lemon. With varicose veins, lemon for therapeutic purposes can be used both internally and externally in the form of analgesic compresses. Prepare such a compress is easy. Take a lemon, cut into circles. Applied to the inflamed areas and wrapped with a bandage or compress paper. Wear a compress throughout the day. Two to three times replacing the lemon with fresh. Lemon juice cleans blood vessels and increases the elasticity of their walls. So this citrus is worth including in your diet to anyone who has problems with veins or wants to prevent their appearance. One of the most effective remedies of folk medicine against inflammation of the veins is considered the following. Six lemons are peeled from the peel and squeeze the juice from them, crush. Five cloves of garlic and three leaves of golden yeast. Add two cups of honey and everything is thoroughly mixed. The resulting mixture is left to insist in a glass bowl. For one week in a dark place, this medicine is used by 4 TSP, once a day for a month. Treatment of varicose veins with potatoes. Potatoes with varicose veins are used in the form of compresses, prepared from the tubers of this plant. Take a few tubers of potatoes, wash and peel them. Then they should be grated and put a one centimeter layer on the inflamed veins. On top of the layer of potatoes is wrapped about 8 layers of gauze, which is also soaked in potato juice. Keep such a compress should not be less than 4 hours. And it is important that for it use freshly grated, not lying potatoes. Is fish oil used for varicose veins? Fish oil is mainly used internally, which helps to normalize metabolism. 
and reduce weight as one of the main causes of congestion in the veins. However, there are other uses for fish oil. Take fish oil and may honey in a ratio of 1 to 1 and mix to a homogeneous mass. The resulting ointment is applied to a linen cloth. Wrap it around a sore limb and leave it for the night. Onions from varicose veins. The greatest effect with varicose veins has not the onion itself, but its husk. Onion husk from varicose veins is involved in various recipes. Pour to TBSP, crushed husks 100 milliliters of vodka and insist for 7 days. Then strain the tincture and take 20 drops 3 times a day for 15 minutes before meals. 2 tablespoons of crushed husks pour 2 cups of boiling water. Insist under a lid for 6 hours. Strain and drink 3 times a day for a quarter cup before meals for a week and a half. Treatment of varicose veins with garlic. Garlic with varicose veins is recommended to use in the form of a compress, which is prepared as follows. Take garlic with white husks and crushed. Then add butter in a ratio of 1 to 2. The resulting ointment before bedtime is smeared on inflamed veins and wrapped around the top with permanent paper or bandage. In the morning, the rest of the ointment is washed off. The procedure should be repeated every day for several weeks. How to take hydrogen peroxide. Treatment of varicose veins with hydrogen peroxide can take place in two ways. Orally, starting with one drop per three tablespoons of water three times a day two hours after meals. Each day the concentration of the consumed peroxide is increased by one drop, bringing it to 10 drops per day. Then take a break for three days and start taking 10 drops two days every three days. A 0.15% hydrogen solution is administered intravenously, which allows atomic oxygen to be released thereby clearing the vascular walls. A single dose of the solution should not exceed 250 milliliters. Iodine from varicose veins. Iodine netting for varicose veins is applied in the same way as on the back for colds, that is. A 5% iodine solution is applied to a cotton swab and straight lines are drawn at 1 cm intervals along the varicose knots. Then draw perpendicular lines at the same interval. It is better to make such a grid at night. And before the first application it is necessary to test for allergic reactions. To do this, on a healthy area of the skin with a stick moistened with iodine, apply a small strip, which must not be scratched or wet. After an hour, the iodine strip is washed off. And if there is no redness, proceed with the treatment. Can I treat varicose veins with salt? Salt with varicose veins is used for baths or salt dressings. It is believed that it is best to use sea salt. It is diluted with water to obtain a liquid pulp. This pulp is used for salt dressings. The salt dressings for varicose veins should be changed several times a day, withstanding each one for no more than four hours. Some recipes recommend cooling the salt porridge in the refrigerator to zero temperature, making a compress in the morning and keeping it until the salt warms up, and then removing its remains from the skin to avoid irritation. The effect of treating varicose veins with salt dressings usually comes after a month of treatment. What kind of clay is used for varicose veins? Treatment of varicose veins with blue clay is considered the most optimal of all types of clay, as it is believed that this type of clay more effectively affects the affected veins. Clay for varicose veins is used in the form of applications. For the application blue clay. For varicose veins diluted with water to a thick sour cream. Then applied to the skin with swollen veins to a thickness of 2 cm. And strapped on top of a terry towel. The duration of such an application should be about 2 hours. Then the clay can be washed off. Applications with clay are recommended daily. For a month and a half. After that you can replace them by wrapping feet with a wet towel soaked in a clay solution. Compresses for varicose veins. As you can see. Treatment with compresses of varicose veins is quite common. At the same time, the compresses themselves can be dry or wet. Whether it is the application of cabbage leaves or the use of oil-based or alcohol-based applications, this will not affect the quality of the treatment. It all depends on the recipe chosen. It should also be noted the ease of use of compresses and the availability of therapeutic agents for their application. After all, there is nothing difficult about getting a little beet for a compress for varicose veins or the same cabbage. But the therapeutic effect of such procedures is huge because the action takes place directly in the area where the stagnation occurs in the veins. The main thing is not to use agents to which the patient is allergic.